Howdy ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, I wanted to go ahead and show off my, uh, just a little bit of my Lost in Space collection, the different merchandise and such that I've acquired over the years. Uh, let's get started. So right here is something relatively new. This is the memoir that came out a few years ago by Angela Cartwright and Bill Moomy. And uh, this particular copy is autographed. It's a really good book. I highly recommend it to uh, all fans of the original Lost in Space. Underneath that is a great book by the artist Juan Ortiz. He did different uh, styles of art for every episode of the original series. He did like a movie style poster, or in some cases he uh, made it look like an old sci-fi novel or... B movie, different different styles and stuff. Pretty cool, worth checking out if uh, if you can find it. You got the B9 bobblehead here from I believe I think Funko made this. I'm not quite sure. I think it was Funko. You got these novels from the 90s. These are actually based on the Lost in Space movie, and I'm going to be talking about these in another video specifically. Uh, should be the next video out, so look out for that if you're a Lost in Space fan. Got the Season 1 laser pistol, and uh, I actually built this one from a kit that I ordered online. Um, but the main collection is going to be over here on the shelf, starting with, I guess, this guy right here, the Cyclops. That mask came out in the late 90s, around the same time as the movie. There was a whole abundance of original series merchandise that came out. I think uh, Taibo is part of that. Um, you can always tell that stuff from the silver and black and red packaging. I don't have a whole lot of that, though, just Taibo. But we'll get to him. Uh, we'll start at the top here with Miss June Lockhart. Got an autographed picture here. I wrote to her many, many years ago because she doesn't really do con appearances anymore and she was nice enough to send that back, autographed. Got uh, the Light Up B9. That's from a company called Images by Light. They do these cool light up uh, see-through standy things. Pretty cool. The Cyclops Snow Globe, which is a limited edition. This one is three. Can we get a shot? 321 of 5,000. Got that a long time ago as well. Uh, this is relatively new. It's a comic based on some unproduced scripts by the television writer Kerry Wilbur. There were two of these actually. This is the first one. The second one I do not have, but looking for it. Got the robot model kit here. John Robinson deluxe action figure. Down here we got Angela Cartwright's autograph. Again, didn't didn't meet her either. Got this in the mail from her. I haven't met any of the original cast in person, although I would like to. They just they don't really come down to Texas very often. Got another model kit here of the Cyclops. Got a uh, Got a lunchbox. This was also from the late 90s. I think this was part of the um, kind of classic series that they, they came out with. It was a Christmas ornament. I'm not sure. I don't think it's made by Hallmark. I'm not sure who made it, but it's pretty cool. It talks. And got these B9 socks here at a local store in Grapevine, Texas. Got my Johnny Lightning chariot. And over here we have something, one of the very first Lost in Space things I ever got when I was probably 13 years old. I remember finding these VHSs at Sam's Club and buying all of them. I think there was three more because um, it starts with Volume 3. Or, I'm sorry, Volume 4. I think there was Volume 1, 2, 3, but I got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And for the longest time, those those saw a lot of wear and tear in my old VCR back in the day. That was before you could pretty much stream anything anywhere. We got Ty Bo here, the Carrot Man, everyone's favorite character. And here's a 
images by light of Verda. I think they have B9, Verda, Robbie the Robot, and the Jupiter 2. One day I'll probably get the Jupiter 2. Here we got the Mini Mates, black and white Dr. Smith and B9. We got the 11 inch tall talking B9 from, oh, who was that? I forget who did that. But it's pretty neat. It's relatively new. And of course, it does talk here. Let's see. Oh, he always says that. And got a model kit of Dr. Smith and the robot. Got the soundtrack here on CD. Got this really neat pin of the Jupiter 2. And that leads us down to the next one. I also got a pin of the Cyclops and the Space Pod. I have a pin of the robot, but it's actually on something right now. These were done as part of a Fantasy Worlds of Irwin Allen kind of thing by a company called Fansets. It's pretty neat. And another newish thing out right now is the Art of Ron Gross trading card set. Got that in the mail, the boxed uh, edition. Here's some more Johnny Lightning. Got the robot, the pod. Here's the Jupiter 2 one out of the package. And this is some pretty cool art on this famous Monsters of Filmland cover. It's uh, Dr. Smith, Will, the robot. Great artwork. There's Tybo in the corner. I think a lot of people have that issue. And no collection of anything would be complete without a pop. Got to have a Funko Pop of the robot. And here's uh, this also was limited edition. I'm not sure if it has a number on it, but this is a salt and pepper shaker of... The Jupiter 2 and the robot. Now the bottom shelf is reserved for the 98 movie that came out when I was a kid. It's actually what got me into Lost in Space in the first place. I uh, remember seeing the trailer for the movie and asking my dad, what is that? He was like, oh that's based on an old TV show. So I went and found it on the local sci-fi channel and watched it every morning. But here we got Blarp, or Blop, the movie's version of Debbie the Bloop. Got the old VHS and some figurines of everybody. Got the rare Spider Smith and the equally rare Judy Robinson, which I never had as a kid, but I got her now. Back there I think is Dr. Smith. And speaking of the movie, here we got a framed poster of the movie. It's hard to see because of the reflection. And we got this great artwork here of the Jupiter 2. Again, I forget the name of the artist, but I'll put it in the uh, video description. It's a pretty famous piece. It's actually one of my favorite pictures of the Jupiter 2. And then one of the newest pieces to my collection, I got this lifelike or life-size cardboard cutout of everyone's favorite B9 robot. Got that at uh, walmart.com at a pretty good price. And of course, that's not everything. I do have a lot of other uh, books and magazines and comics and other things that I just don't really have room for at the moment. But for now, I just wanted to kind of show it off because in the future, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about Lost in Space. And so I just wanted to kind of introduce you to what I'm going to be using as the set for those. If you're a uh, fan of the show or the movie or the Netflix series or the comics or any other version of Lost in Space, go ahead and leave me a comment and we can talk about it. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. My name is Ryan. Have a good day.